I'm going to talk about something. Um, I'm going to talk about using a camera like this and um, making good use of it. I've been trying to figure out how to do that, uh, looking at what I record on this and trying to figure out what makes some things interesting and what things what is not interesting and <laughs> I had something in mind when I before I press this button but of course now I don't um, now that the camera is on me there's I am remembering it there is a pressure a certain pressure um, when you squeeze your life through the little tiny hole in the camera and you, to be spread out there to other people, there's a, a pressure to, um, I don't think this is with any camera, to do something, um, to produce some kind of quality. And really what I'm doing is I'm talking across a void. I'm, I'm this, this is the same thing with writing, too. You, you, you're communicating with another time and place, which is what I'm doing right now. I don't know where you are. I don't know when you are. I don't know anything about you, whoever you are who's watching. And um, I can take that lack of knowledge a couple of different ways, I could say. Oh, well, I've got to be all strict and anxious about it, or I can kind of just relax. I really can just relax and say, well, nothing I can do about it. I don't know who you are. It could be a million different people. You probably are a million different people. This is going out across the multiverse. There could be versions of me and versions of you, hundreds and thousands and infinite versions of both of us looking at this. And so the possibility that I'm going to be able to accommodate everyone's desires or wishes is futile. So does that mean that I shouldn't craft this? Or that I should completely ignore the notion of audience? I have no idea. It's kind of an interesting thought. It's an interesting thought that I could be, you know, wafting my image and my, some little slice of my life and personality out across time and space. It's like being revealing yourself intimately to a mystery. It's a little scary. I suppose it's part of the reason why I've had... It's one of the hardest things for me about art, about doing art, is that transmission thing, that... that that audience thing. You know, what what is uh, how are people going to react to what I do? And um, I have this anxiety and desire that I don't want people to react badly, which is kind of a a softness that an artist shouldn't necessarily have. But all artists care. You know, we care about um, about how our work is taken. Um, you're not really here working completely on your own by yourself for yourself. Although, you know, you want to please yourself with what you do. You want what you do to please yourself. And strangely, I find my what I've been doing on the video camera a lot of it pleases me. Even things that I don't think are any good while I'm doing them, sometimes they do. And other things that I think uh, may be going well, I, uh, when I look at them on video, I'm like, Ugh. And I don't know how much of that has to do with the expectations that I set up for myself or how other people are going to react. 
I guess the, the point I'm making is that when you're doing art, it's good to have these kinds of thoughts and discussions, but up to a point you got to just put them down and do what you do. Um, because um, they're, as you can kind of feel from this monologue, this discussion I'm having with myself, there are really severe limits to how much control and information you have about where your art goes, to whom it goes, where it goes, and when. So you have to kind of accept that all that is out of your control to a large degree and find ways to work with what you have the ability to work with. You know? And what you have the ability to work with is you can do things to be to bring quality into your work. And ultimately quality is another way of saying that your work really pleases yourself. And you can start by start pleasing other people by doing things that please you. So that conclusion pleases me. So having said that, I'm going to sign off.